Vito, you ready? Does it sound like I'm ready? You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? Huh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, yeah, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. Said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and they just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's got it coming home now. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. Man, if you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. He was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Yeah, what do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. to say? Yeah. All right. Here we go then. Mr. Angelo. Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Like I so said, about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Those guys over there. Shit! Go! Copy go! That. Let's 
Let's get the fuck out of here. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. This is Agent Cox. We need police right support in Greenfield. Now, goddammit! Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. And he's famous for conveniently leaving out little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him. Oh, fuck. That was close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. For your car? So what can I do for you, sir? No license plate. <laughs> for you? Thanks, Vito. Appreciate the business. Good afternoon, sir. Don't hurt me. No, These are on sale today. He's gone! Oh, please! Run! Please! Look out! Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later.
it on. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You uh, know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunard you are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you! Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck! And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like he did John. your voice now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't ya? Why, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth. Right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We've known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the things. you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut! Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. Yeah. Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. You shouldn't be doing this. He's not gonna handle himself. Some extra firepower. Let's go, you guys. We got your back. You're gonna end up just like your old man.
fucking do something like this and walk away? Y'all fuck! You miss your old man, Vito? Don't worry, you're gonna see him soon. I'd spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Hey, Vito, we can take things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw will swear we did it in self defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck then. Jesus, Mary. Sir, good to see you this afternoon. Please don't. You can't bring a gun in here. Go on, get out. Please don't oh, no. shoot. Come on, have a heart. Ah, ah, ah. Come on! Dispatch, we're in pursuit of a suspect. Copy that. Let me go, please. Roger that. Suspect is about six feet tall, average size. Ten four. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Copy that. Look out! Use extreme caution. Use of automatic weapons is authorized. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Ten four.
Do you need some help? Oh God! Please no! Get out of here! Yeah, listen, could you uh, give me a little space here? Take care, Vito.
Get out of there. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out.
Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. Well, why? So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dub with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. 
I don't think he know himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish a conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Buon date bene, Vito. Vito? Just tell me what you need. No license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. Thanks, Vito. I appreciate the business. Freeze, and maybe I won't kill you. Hi, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you, too. Don't move a muscle. Come on. Listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. 
And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry, it's got a hell of a view. Shit! Ah! Oh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. But can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem, because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally, we don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right, we'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out, I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three! One, two, three! Again! One, two, three!
Fuck this. I'm out of here. That asshole killed him! You go first. I'll cover you. Where the fuck you think you're going? Hey, guys! Barbara's escaping!
Vito, they fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay. Let's get you over to El Greco. Get the fuck out. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Roger that. My chest. Every time I breathe. I think they broke my damn ribs. Take it easy. El Greco's gonna fix you up. Yeah. <coughs> sure. <coughs> uh, fuck. Every time I cough, it feels like I'm being stabbed in the chest. Just sit back. The more you whine about it, the worse it's gonna be. So listen, Vito. Uh, thanks. For coming after me. And almost getting yourself killed. Hey, we're in this together, right? Just like always. Now just sit the fuck back before you get blood all over my pants and I really do stand in the chest. <coughs> oh, you picked a hell of a time to turn into a fucking comedian. Scaletta. Just tell me what you need, sir. No license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. Thanks a lot, pal. I appreciate the business. I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Uh. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked. At... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh. guys is already here. Uh. Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to uh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? All the blood. Uh, all the death. Uh, this is the uh, lifestyle you choose. Uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could be you. Enough with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes. But you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right. Come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito. Thanks. Sure thing. Feel better.
Hey, I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some... complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attack them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> your father. Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. 